Hello and welcome to how to count or sum negative numbers. My name's Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. In this short video, we'll use COUNTIF, SUMIF, and conditional formatting with negative numbers. Exercise one. As you can see, we have a bunch of transactions. Some of them are sales and they have positive numbers. Some of them are returns and they have negative numbers. And we wanna count the number of sales transactions and the number of returns. So to do this, we'll use the COUNTIF function. Equals COUNTIF. All right, we wanna count the number of cells in this range, comma, that are greater than or equal to zero. And we enclose that in quotes. Close the function and enter. So we have eight sales transactions. Let's just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That looks good. And let's count the number of returns or negative numbers. Equals count if. We want to count the number of cells in this range, comma, that are less than or equal to zero. And again, we enclose that in quotes, close function and enter. We have two and one and two, and that looks good. But what if we wanted to find the sum of those values? Well, that takes us to our next exercise. Exercise two. Now, to find the sum of the sales transactions and the sum of the returns, we're going to use the sum if function. Equals sum if. All right, we want to sum the values in this column, comma, that are greater than or equal to zero. And once again, we enclose those in quotes. We close the function and enter. Now, just as a quick note, because our original range is the range we want summed, we don't need to specify the third argument, which is the sum range argument. And we basically do the same thing with returns, equals sum if. We wanna look at this column of numbers, comma, we wanna include them when they are less than or equal to zero, enclosed in quotes, close function, enter, and we got it. Exercise three. And what if we just wanted to identify the negative transactions? Well, one option would be to sort this by the amount and then all the negatives would bubble up to the top. But if we didn't wanna change the original sort order, we could use conditional formatting. We start by selecting the range, then we go to conditional formatting, new rule. And here we're gonna use a formula to determine which cells to format. And the formula is equals, and then we need to use an absolute column reference for the amount column, which in this case is D. And we need to use a relative row reference, which in this case is nine, is less than zero. And then we can pick a format and we can pick anything we want. We click okay and okay. And now we can see that we've identified the negative transactions without disturbing the original sort order. Hopefully this short video has provided several different ways to operate on negative numbers. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day. Hey, Excel user. If you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 